Hi, I'm Clara Rollins from Cleveland, Ohio. Sometimes children, especially teenagers, feel like the church is forced upon them. How can I teach my kids to love the church and not resent it? My heart always goes out to parents, mm -hmm. and I've talked to so many who have that same question. They have the same struggle. Maybe their children have just left. And those are heartbreaks in our lives. We love our children so much. But I think that it's really important to not get, you know, in a place where we identify ourselves as somehow failures. I mean, okay. I don't believe Lehi is identifying himself as a failure. He still cares. He's still trying. But, you know, they're his children, but they're not him. And I think we do need to make that separation that we can invite, we can love, we can plead, we can remind, we can try to persuade. But we have to celebrate the gift of agency. It's much more good than it is problematic. And if we understand it completely, it's all good. So I think it's just really important not to define ourselves that way. I had a woman that came in once, a long time ago, and I had never heard this statement before until she said it in my office. But she said, you know how a woman is only as happy as her least happy child. Mm. <laughs> I had not heard wow. that before, but boy, you know, I'm a mom too, and it resonated, wow. it resonates yeah. with dads. Oof. But I, I was like, wow, that's bleak. So I thought, is God only as happy as his <laughs> least happy child? <laughs> and I thought, of course not. I mean, I reject that out of hand because he would be the most miserable of all. Right. And I thought, he's full of joy, or we wouldn't have ever wanted to follow his plan or be like him. So, so I thought, how is he so full of joy when he has some real scoundrels mm -hmm. in his family and amongst his children? I thought it's because he knows how it ends. Yeah. And he knows that gotcha. although there is perfect justice, there is perfect mercy that follows. Mm -hmm. I think that principle is so incredibly important for parents and for children too to understand that God is full of joy because he created and engineered a plan so perfect that we actually get what we want, right? Alma 29, God granteth unto men according to their desires, except we'll get more because of his mercy. Right, and it's, it's so important to keep in mind that as parents, we have these children that have been entrusted to us, but they're not just my kids. They were his first. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah, and first. last and always. And last and always. Right? So, so that's one important principle. The other, I think another principle is, is that it's possible to have joy and also weep at the same time. It's not either or. It's, it's not, oh, if I'm sad over the, mm -hmm. the choices that my children make, that, that somehow robs me of any joy or happiness or looking at the good things in their lives That's too. Right. And, and right. so, so sometimes we get trapped in these either or mm -hmm. dichotomies that, that rob our own joy and maybe rob our ability to be good. And it's not just parents, it's siblings, it's other, other kinds of relationships, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and then there are some proactive things, of course, you know, Loving our children sounds so obvious, but you know we can get better at it. You know? mm -hmm. We can be um, better with our tempers, less critical, more positive, more you know, have more fun, do all the things the proclamation invites us to do as families that really can help our children then connect with God. And then it's really important to help our children harness the natural man so that the spirit can enter their lives. Because if they're always in the service of the natural man, their appetites, passions, and desires, they tend to offend the spirit. And then the spirit can't witness to them and give them a stronger testimony, which is what we want for them, one that comes from the spirit. So we, there's a lot we can do as parents mm -hmm. to kind of, you know, till that soil and help to teach those principles always by precept and our best example possible, even though we're not perfect either. <laughs>